Hello, Wonder Child. Are you ready for bedtime? Great. Then let me tell you a story about Potakal, the little hippo, and his first adventure. Once upon a time, there was a little hippo named Potakal. He lived with Mummy Hippo and Daddy Hippo in the zoo. All day long, he watched big and small people pass by and look at him. Potakal always wondered where the people went when they went home. Potakal was curious. He wanted to learn more about people. One evening, when the zookeeper closed all the enclosures, and the people went home, it started getting dark. Potakal looked for a way to escape his enclosure. He fiddled with the lock, and to his surprise, it opened. He was a little scared, but he bravely started walking. While walking, he passed the tiger enclosure, and the young tiger recognized him right away because they were best friends at the animal school. The young tiger shouted excitedly, Karl, what are you doing? Why aren't you in your enclosure? Potter Karl replied, Shh, be quiet. I'm going on an adventure to see where people live. The young tiger said, Be careful and come back soon. Little Potter Karl sneaked out of the zoo and walked along the streets. He looked into the store windows and saw houses with lights. He kept walking, saw cars passing by and got an, on a streetcar that stopped. He sat down and rode along. He looked out the window and enjoyed how fast the streetcar went around the corners. He saw many colorful lights and heard many sounds, loud and soft. He saw children and grown-ups coming out of the houses or going in. So that's where people lived, in big boxes with hats on top. No, it's called a roof, not a hat. People lived there with windows, and they lived on top of each other in different floors. As Potakar looked at all the houses, a man in a uniform and a hat approached him and said, Tickets, please. Little Potakal didn't know what he meant. The man asked again, Tickets, please. Potakal replied, I don't have a ticket. The man in the uniform asked, Hmm, who are you? Do you belong here? Where are your parents? Potakal said, They are at home in the zoo. The conductor said, Oh, <laughs> now I see you're a hippo. You should be in the zoo. It's late and you need to sleep. I'd better call the zoo director. The conductor called the zoo director, who was a little tired because it was late and shocked. He wondered what a little hippo was doing on the streetcar. What's going on? he thought. He quickly checked the enclosure and saw that it was true. The gate was open and little Potakal was gone. The director rushed to meet the conductor and little Potakal. When he saw Potakal, he was relieved and asked, What are you doing here, Potakal? You should be at home. Come on, I'll take you back to your enclosure. So Potakal walked home with the zoo director. His parents were waiting for him and wanted to know where he had been. But Potakal was so tired after his adventure that he had to lie down and sleep on his big, comfy bed of straw. The next morning, when Potakal went to animal school, the young tiger had already told the other animal children that he had seen Potakal at the zoo the night before. Potakal had to tell everyone what he had experienced and they all gathered around him, amazed at how brave little Potakal was. But then the teacher arrived, and they had to start their lessons. And that was today's story of Potakal, 
who wanted to see where and how people lived. Sleep tight, wonder child. Tomorrow there will be a new story. Good night. <laughs>